mix of parts, A resin, and B hardener. The mixing process. So simple, yet so often done the wrong way. When it comes to epoxy, it is imperative that parts A resin and part B hardener are mixed in a completely homogeneous manner in order to achieve its complete polymerization. There are still a lot of misconceptions about epoxy, and today in this video, we will show you exactly how to properly mix and what to avoid. You are welcome. So you have your epoxy, clean mixing tools, and mixing cup. Let's get started. First of all, when it comes to small amounts, always mix part A resin and part B the hardener for 8 to 10 minutes in a clean, round, non-square or rectangular container. Why round? Simply because it's easier to scrape the sides and bottoms to remove any unmixed epoxy stuck on the plastic containers. Yes, a certain amount of epoxy, either resin or hardener, can stick to your plastic container. This amount will need incorporated to your mix for a perfectly homogeneous mixture. When it comes to mixing epoxy like a professional and achieve a complete polymerization, a metal spatula will become your best friend. This simple but efficient tool will help you remove any resin or hardener sticking to your mixing cup but will mostly help you create a better mixing movement in the epoxy. Scraping those sides and bottom from time to time through the 8 to 10 minutes will save you some headaches, most likely from squaring. The mixing time should be directly proportional to the amount of resin to be made. Keep in mind that you can't mix too long, but a carefree blend will lead to disastrous results such as soft epoxy. If you spend hours on social media, I'm sure you can spend 10 minutes mixing your epoxy the right way. Right? So take this procedure seriously, as simple as that. When mixing bigger amounts, a jiffy mixer can be used to mix the epoxy for 8 to 10 minutes as well. But also use a metal spatula to scrape the sides and bottoms from time to time throughout the process. There is no need to mix full speed here, this isn't a race. Mixing full speed will only incorporate more bubbles creating a vortex. Medium speed for a longer period of time is recommended. Also, when using a jiffy mixer, do not stay at the same place in your pail. An irregular movement will help mixing thoroughly your epoxy. Here's a few things to avoid. Avoid containers that have already been used and mixtures that are dirty and contaminated. Avoid using containers with an even bottom or sides or rings which do not allow a completely homogeneous mixture. Use containers with smooth bottoms and sides. Keep those red cups for your next beer pong contest, not to mix epoxy. At Chill Epoxy, we offer you the possibility of purchasing graduated containers and metal spatulas of different sizes. Over the last few years, we have all sorts of objects to mix epoxy and most of them do not help you mixing the epoxy properly due to its thin surface not breaking the molecule together. Please avoid mixing with the following items. Small wood sticks, toothpick, cake mixers, we have seen it all, trust us. Knives, forks, spoons, or even your kids' popsicle sticks. I mean, come on, seriously? Would you cut a tree with butter knife? thought so. We hope you get it by now. It is important to use the right tools when it comes to mixing resin. Using the wrong mixing cups or mixing tools could result in the epoxy not curing properly due to a lack of homogeneity. Quick reminder before we go. First, mixing for 8 to 10 minutes for small quantity and 15 minutes for 5 gallons pail volume. Very important, make sure to scrape the sides and bottom of your cup. And finally, make sure to use the right mixing tool depending on volume. We hope this video will help you be a better resin expert and for any questions, please contact our chill support team.